Hey guys, today we will discuss about an important property of limit of sequence. If xn be a sequence of non-negative terms such that limit n tends to infinity xn equal to l, then l greater or equal to 0. So let's start. This is our theorem. If xn be a sequence of non-negative terms such that limit n tends to infinity xn equal to l, then l greater or equal to 0. Or you can say if limit n tends to infinity xn equal to l and xn greater than 0 for all n, then so that l greater or equal to 0. So let's prove. First, uh, given that limit n tends to infinity xn equal to l, since Then by definition, we can say that for epsilon greater than 0, there exists a positive number k arbitrary small. There exists a positive number k such that mod of xn minus l less than epsilon for all n greater or equal to k. This is the equation number 1. Now we have to prove that l greater or equal to 0. Now let's assume that l less than 0. If possible let L less than 0. Now, let us choose epsilon. L is changed, so we have to change this epsilon. So, we just assume this as minus L by 2 because here L less than 0. Now, if we take this value, negative then we can say epsilon greater than 0 so now from equation 1 we have l minus epsilon less than xn less than l plus epsilon for all n greater or equal to k so if we put this value here then it gives us this result. Now let's discuss about this point. Here if we take minus then we get And then this is greater than 0. So we can say from this inequality that minus xn greater than 0 and xn less than 0. So easily it contradicts to this point xn greater than 0. This point xn greater than 0. So we can write that. which is a contradiction to xn greater than 0 for all n belongs to capital N that is natural number. Now hence L cannot be negative therefore L greater or equal to 0. So let's revise for one time again. Here given 
that limit x n tends to infinity x n equal to l and then we apply the definition where mod of x n minus l less than epsilon for all n greater than k and then we have to assume that l less than 0. Now we choose an epsilon that is obviously greater than 0 and then we use the equation number 1 and then we get that from the inequality this inequality gives us xn less than 0 but given xn greater than 0 so this contradicts and then we can easily say that L cannot be negative L greater or equal to 0. So I think it's clear for you. So it's all about this property of limit of sequence. So today I end this lecture here. If this video is helpful for you then please hit the like button and share this video with your friends. So goodbye.